Paul and Monica first met in their community group Bible study in 2017. From what I hear, Monica thought Paul was cute. <laughs> so she invited him to help her study in her upcoming interviews uh, in her new career in software. Paul was impressed by Monica, impressed by her boldness to jump into a new field. Over their study sessions, they became friends and spent time together over the following seasons. The real aha moment for Paul was actually when he was on a date with a different person. <laughs> but he found himself thinking about Monica the entire time. After that date, he started to message Monica specifically and intentionally. Uh, soon after, he invited her to a yoga class. The class went well, and afterwards Paul shared that uh, he smoothly tried to put his arm around Monica, but he was blocked by the yoga mat she was holding. Despite that, Paul didn't let any other yoga mats stand in his way. <laughs> Their first official date included baking cookies and watching Home Alone. <laughs> Since then, their relationship has continued to grow and mature. When I asked them to share something they had learned through their relationship together, Paul shared, things are easier and best when you are direct and honest, and he appreciates that Monica does as well. Monica shared that she appreciates how Paul brings a different perspective from her own and different ways of thinking about things. So through him, she has learned to embrace other approaches. Monica is one of my longest time and best friends. It has been an absolute blessing to do life with Monica over the last 10 plus years. Watch her come to know the Lord and see her grow in her faith and be an encouragement to so many of us who are here today. So, you know, I've, I've honestly never met someone who's committed to their word and their friendships as you are, Paul. Paul, I want to thank you for two decades of friendship. Not only have we shared many amazing experiences, but you've also made me a better person by supporting me in my times of need, listening to me when I needed someone to talk to and, or I needed an opinion, and by dedicating yourself to our friendship through thick and thin. I know these are the qualities that are going to serve you well in your marriage. In the spirit of love and commitment, we turn our attention to the reason we have gathered here. Paul and Monica, we have the time for you to state your intentions to be married. So to Paul, in the presence of God and these witnesses, will you take Monica to be your wife? Will you commit to love her as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her? To honor and comfort and keep her in sickness and health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you both live. I will. Monica, in the presence of God and these witnesses, will you take Paul to be your husband? Will you love and commit yourself to him as the church is committed to Christ? To honor and comfort and keep him in sickness and health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him as long as you both live. I will.
I, Paul Keen, take you, Monica Lee Burgos, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. I, Monica Lee Burgos, take you, Paul Allen Keen, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Monica, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. Paul, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. All that I am and all that I have, I honor you. Therefore pronounce you husbands and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. Paul, you may kiss your bride. Watch out. They said I won't see you come in. Blind side for sure. Won't blink now we're standing face to face. And those are the uh, same qualities that I prayed to God that he would help me raise my daughter with on the day that she was born. My other, my other prayer to God as Monica became a woman was that she may find a good man, one whom I could entrust with protecting her feelings and emotional well-being. So when Monica told us that she had chosen Paul to share his life with, I felt that my prayers had been answered. Close now, could I be falling for you? Jaws on the floor, you got that something I can't explain. And so I was praying for a little boy and a little girl that I didn't yet know and for the families that they were growing up in. And when the kids were about 18 months old, I was praying for Paul's future wife, and I started laughing to myself and was wondering if she'd even been born yet. And the answer is no. <laughs> so, Monica, I was praying for you before you were ever even conceived, and only God knew who you were. But I couldn't have asked for a better answer to my prayers for Paul's. Oh, oh, oh.